seventh grade parents and students. This is Ms. Tillman, the seventh grade language arts and reading teacher. And I want to show you how to navigate my Canvas page. When your students open up Canvas, they should see different um, little boxes on the left side that are the modules for the teacher's classes. Mine has a picture um, of me in a virtual classroom and it says Miss C. Tillman. It also says ELA grade seven. So if you would click on that, on the left side, you will see home front page, modules and grades. On the right side, you should see my home page. And I'm going to minimize the left column so that we can see the home page better, okay? On the home page, you have my banner you can click on that to email me and because some of you are not being able to see all the visuals I am pretty much putting my links up here twice so we're on the words where it says click on the class banners to email me you can click on that and you can email me as well now where it says watch this canvas tour that's the video you're watching right now okay um you have your image of the camera for Zoom that you can click on to get to my Zoom classes. It has the Zoom link in it. But you also can click on the words, click on camera to join Zoom meetings. And it'll connect you to my Zoom meetings also. Next, we have um, previous assignments at a glance. Okay, I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna show you that. All right, these are all the assignments from the first week of school they're in green and I'm just telling you at a glance um, what they are and how many points was needed each day to get a hundred kids can still turn this work in and get full credit for it it's just a matter of doing the work it pops up automatically on my um, speed um, grader um, I do ask that if you have turned in parts of it and you need to turn into other parts to get that hundred please do not take the parts off that you've already done I want to see all of it up there so if you have one part but you need two more add those two more and leave that first part up there okay um, we do have to set a deadline on canvas simply because to sync to power school we need a deadline for the assignments but in all honesty, the kids don't have a deadline with being flexible because it's virtual learning. And we know that they're having different problems with internet, with Canvas, with different apps we're trying to use. So we're just being lenient. But please, kids, know that you need to get your work turned in as soon as possible. We're already headed to the third week of school next week. And you don't want to just let this stuff keep building up and building up and you'll never be able to catch it back up. So whatever you have missed, please pay attention to these two um, screenshots of the assignments for these two weeks. And please make sure you get those turned into me as soon as possible. Um, for the first week, I was asking, are you in Common Lit or are you in New Zella? By now you should be. If you're still not in those two um, things that we're using to do your work, it is imperative that you let me know so we can schedule a Zoom so we can get you in those things. Now, this week, I'm asking, are you watching the videos on the Summit page? Are you reading your emails? Because some of these things that I'm seeing, oh, I spelled reading wrong. Let me go fix that. But in any case, <laughs> um, make sure you're watching those videos, guys. Make sure you're watching those videos. Those videos are in place of our Zoom sessions. They give you instructions, they give you directions, they give you reminders, okay? And you need to make sure that you're viewing those, that you can have some idea of what's going on with the assignment. Some of the emails I'm getting, I know that you haven't watched the videos, and I know that you haven't um, checked your emails, because um, the answers are on the videos and in your emails, okay? Next, I have a help page. Okay. You can be a parent observer on Canvas. And this little video right here, I'm not going to play the whole video, but it tells you how to set that up. It may be helpful also for the kids to set alarms um, on their iPads 
so they'll know when to be on Zooms because we're finding that some of the kids are coming in halfway through the Zoom meeting and it would be more beneficial for them to be there during the whole Zoom meeting. And next I have this um, video on Zscaler. Ooh, see, that's why we're doing this cameras page. I'll go back and I'll make sure that's updated. Okay. But in any case, this um, how and why to use Scalar, Z Scalar. Lenore County um, wants to have the connection to your Wi-Fi, and because that connection has not been established, that's one of the reasons why some of your links are not working, some of your YouTube videos are not working, um, because you haven't put in Z Scalar um, along with your Wi-Fi network information okay class info video that's what I gave you at the beginning of school a few things only have changed that's another reason why we're doing these um, campus tours student information survey that is very important I really need parents to do that that gives me the um, information I need so that we can communicate back and forth this school year so that we can try to do the best we can for your children um, this link, ladies and gentlemen, if you are having problems with an assignment, you need to set up an appointment with me. Let me know that you need help so that we can set up a Zoom meeting so I can assist you. Do your daily attendance. Guys, it's, this is very important because you're off site. So we need a way to know that you've been working, that you've been active in your schoolwork each day. So in my class, you need to click on this link and a Google form comes up. And you just fill that in and that's how you do your attendance now this attendance form is found on the home page and it's also found at the top of each assignment okay the next thing I want to show you is this um, schedule by time and by day and by course it tells you when you're supposed to be on zoom or if it's a day when you just go straight to canvas it tells you pretty much to go to canvas okay now, um, on this portion of my home page, see right there, there's something going, on, going wrong with the image. That's why I have these double links up here. So you can click on this um, image and you can click on these words right here. And also, you could click on modules to get to the assignments each day. See how I clicked on modules and all those days came up? And this is the first day of school. See how I have do your daily attendance there? Okay. So let's go back. Let's... I don't want to leave that one. I want to go back to the home page. Okay. Okay. We do have weekly getting to know you discussions. Um, you can click on the image to connect to them or you can click on the week and the number to connect to them. Remember, there's two ways to connect. Organization of your notebook and assignments. Oh, this is very important on this home page. What I'm pretty much doing is going page by page and showing your children how to set up their notebooks. Uh, we are using two column notes and I'm doing that to keep your kids organized and to make it easier for me to view their assignments. Because I have 102 seventh graders um to respond if they would all do their work and that's a lot of kids <laughs> um so i need a way that i can check their work but also do it in a timely fashion okay so that's why i'm asking them to do two column notes you see some examples like with this one with the treasure limit round on the left side they were going to find details about the plot, the setting, the theme, and the characters. And they were going to write what they came up with about the plot, the setting, the theme, the characters on the right side. And on the bottom, they were going to do the closing question for today. And also, with that particular assignment, there was a graphic organizer. And they were supposed to do that on the back. You see how each day is dated, and it tells you at the top what your assignment is. Um, that was a day where they had a choice of two assignments to do and they were supposed to answer the questions on common lit 
but that didn't work out so what I did I just gave everybody 50 points for that but they still had to do the closing questions for the day so those kids that did the closing questions they got 100 those kids that didn't bother doing the closing questions they got a 50 but they still can bring it up to 100 they just got to do their closing questions for today and by the way that was august 19th that applied to august 19th okay that was when we did some work with narrative writing so every page you can see every page of the notebook every day is going to have something like this as a reminder to tell them how to set up their work so this like i said this is a very important portion of that home page that they need to pay close attention to okay let's go right here you see all the google voice numbers for um the teachers on the seventh grade team Mine is 252-624-9102. Along with Google Voice, we have a 7th grade remind where you get your weekly templates um, that tells you what week they have, um, what work they have for the entire week. And you, we also have, I have a class remind um, where you can contact me now. I will not be sending out messages. I will not be initiating sending out messages from remind. You can um, reach out to me and then we can start conversing on remind um, email of course I already told you about that Google voice um, and remind okay um, guys this is a lot of work <laughs> so what we're trying to do as a county is um, let teachers work together across schools me as a seventh grade teacher i'm working with the other seventh grade teachers in the county and right here you will see all their names and all their emails okay along with the ec teachers all right and right here you have an introduction video we're doing this um to collaborate and help each other out because like i said this this is a lot so what i'm saying is um, me as a teacher, someone might see me teaching a video and they may attend Frank, Rochelle, or Woodington. Okay? And my kids at CSS may see an instructional video where that teacher is from Frank, Ro Rochelle, or Woodington. So, like I said, we're teaming up. So, if you see another teacher um, instructing your kids on the summit pages, it's because we collaborate okay now down here at the bottom you see dashboard calendar to do and notifications okay notifications could be comments that I've sent out from their assignments it could be emails that I've sent out to everybody it could be numerous things they need to check their notifications to-do list the to-do list tells them by day everything that is due so with us having assignments um, every day, there's something on that to-do list almost every day. Nine times out of 10, there's something on that to-do to list that's reminding them to do that assignment. We also have, have a calendar. Like today, they have an assignment for me. If they click on it, the actual assignment pops up. Okay, so that's on the calendar. And then they have their dashboard, and that takes them back to the home page. And once again, I had minimized this um, left column so that I could show you um, a bigger um, section for the home page. But um, that's everything at a glance. Um, I hope this has helped. If you have additional questions, please email me, Google Voice me, or remind me. Let's have a great year. Let's work together, y'all, and let's have a great year. Thank you. Bye.